here to talk about UFOs and religion. So we'll talk first about my religion. So I'm a Catholic boy. Um, slightly agnostic, so uh, I read between the lines, not black and white. I read between them a little bit, and I can see how the word of God and the word that was written by Yaya was uh, translated in different ways. Which is the completely opposite of me, because I'm not religion. As I have no religion, as you know. I am. I, I don't know if I'm an atheist or not, but it's weird because I have no idea what I am. You know, you see my channel, you see I do many videos and I kind of don't know what it is. I put it out there. Dean's religious. Well, I think what's good is that there's two people who... Uh, do, you believe in, do you believe in aliens? Well, I believe that there's a higher being and that higher being may be translated into aliens. When we talk about angels, maybe it translates into something else for other beliefs. And it's good that me and you have different views, yet we can sit happily tonight and have a great night together. And yet we, now we can talk. Now we've had a few drinks, we a bit a more relaxed. Drinks. We're relaxed. We can talk about how our belief system maybe come from a higher power that may not be just God, it may be from another planet. Do you, do, so, do you, do you believe in like the, so, so, so Dean, are you Catholic? You're Catholic, I'm a Catholic, are you? And you believe in aliens? Well, <laughs> well, I've never seen an alien, but I believe that there is other beings out there. Now, when I read about angels and demons um, from the good book, then I believe that that can be translated in lots of different ways. And I've, I've heard other people, like, you know, the thoughts of beings flying in the sky with fire coming out of their wings, in, you know, a, a chariot. It was always chariots in the sky. And that was only because the people back then had to relate the things they saw to what they understood from their lifestyle. So if there was a, a being or an, an item flowing in the sky, it would be a chariot on fire or it would be an angel. And so potentially it could have been another being or, or maybe somebody from the future or, or, or something we don't understand rather than what the people who wrote the book Okay, was. so here's my question: Where where do you think where do you think it, it is going wrong right now between the people who are putting out things? Because there's a lot of I I, I converse with a lot of religious channels yeah. within the UFO community. It's about tolerance, isn't it, guys? Bear with me because I'm a little bit inebriated. We've been <laughs> we've been to a gig tonight. Um, but I converse with a lot, a lot of them, and some of them they put some far out. Like what? Give me one thing that they put out there. The, I'll see what I feel about the it. A, the aliens are demons. Yes. Well, you know, maybe not demons, but maybe I would think more down the angel route. But you know, um, when we talk about when we go back into the history of man, you know that buildings were built that we, we couldn't have built, and, uh, uh, and we talk about. Uh, I was looking something recently about Kirkstall Abbey that was built in the 11th century in Leeds and the, the amount of uh, engineering ingenuity they had was crazy and then you go back to Stonehenge and you go back to the, the Inca trails and you go back to the pyramids and, and, and we believe that the pyramids are probably thousands and thousands of years older than they actually were then potentially maybe there was a higher being that taught them how to do that now was that God? was it God? was it some higher angel system that taught them how to Somebody's do those asking things? You something here. Oh, demons are a convenient explanation for religion <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right because because it's about right and wrong, isn't it? So religion is um, a guidance to live our life by. And hey, if you have Mojo, Banjo, Banjo, Jojo, how you doing? And so yeah, it's great because demons exist in all of us, not just you know. I'm a man, my top man. <laughs> so yeah, it, right and wrong is kind of like the whole basis of pretty much every major religion in the world. And yet, when we go back in time and we talk about all the books that were written through the Torah, through the Jewish religion, through the you know Abrahamic religions, um, did they come from one man or did they come from maybe a higher being? And if they came from angels, potentially that extra education was from a, a, a higher educated race in the universe. Who knows? Craigie B, how you doing, mate? You all right? Ban Jojo. Ban Jojo. We are in a uh, we are in a proper British pub because we've just been inside and it was too dark and too loud, that probably showing our age a little bit. Me, me and Dean are like, 
completely different. Dean's religious. I'm not religious. We have been to see Elbow Alive. Uh, Elbow, fantastic gig, supported by John Grant, who's a great musician. Oh, what we got here? What's that say? You... My in-laws are very Christian and don't believe in aliens. Bigfoot, none of that. I believe in Christ, yet I think outside the proverbial Christian box. Thousands upon thousands of species. Yeah, you're probably right. In fact, there were species in the Bible, weren't there? They got wiped out by the by the floods. So when the floods came out, they wiped out the... Uh, oh, what was the name of those large humans, the giants? Somebody will put it on now. Oh, because they, we've had a few um... drinks. Fucking, oh, what they, they were called Nephilim. The, yeah, the Nephilim. That was it. Nephilim. So there's, you know, there's there's beliefs. Yeah, thank you, Craig. The Nephilim. So yeah, we believe that there is uh, other races or other beings that existed during our time. But we do the do. We talked about the troglodytes tonight. The troglodytes. And I sometimes call my wife a troglodyte. But but there is. Yeah, <laughs> it's you know a funny through, name. Through life, other things existed. Whether that was down to evolution. So if you if you're not a Christian, then you think that maybe that was evolution that created things. Or maybe, just maybe, it was a, a different species that was out there. That was wrong. Giants. It was a world of giants. There was, Do you believe in giants? Well, I believe that in the in the Bible that people lived to a thousand years. Dean is not that religious. Not stupid, he's saying really. he's, he's making out now. He's really religious. He's not. This is my old boss, Evan. No, I have a belief system. I, I believe in a higher being. But yes, I, I've not been schooled by my parents. My parents weren't religious. I've more found it myself. But we to, have, we and, it, have. and it is more about right and wrong and about living my life in the right way. And then because of that, you start reading the books and start thinking, hang on, I don't really think that the flood happened or maybe it did and didn't happen. And if it did, then maybe it wasn't exactly as they said it was in the book. See, what, what he's saying right now maybe I am goes agnostic. straight through my ears and out of the other side because I don't understand it. Because I'm not religious. What's... what's, what's, what's uh, 60 degrees in the valley. Great, will it, valley? Well... Well, we'll probably go there one time. If you invite us, we'll go there. I will get to that valley. We'll go there. We, we love places to go. Anunnaki. That was a good one. They're an alien beings who fly around. There's apparently there's another planet that flies around that's slightly well, out of orbit. about fucking Nibiru, are you? Is that what it, the Anunnaki are? Oh, I think it, it is. I think that's something to do with Nibiru. And they Ask them. Um, it was Van so Georgia who said circ- that. She said Anunnaki, and I, I, if I'm right, I think the Anunnaki are a, a, a race of aliens who live on a, 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 a solar system, but have a gravitational pull that goes much uh, over a thousand years, maybe, which, See, which may coincide with the coming of Jesus Christ. So, if, if there is a planet that does go around and it only comes back to Earth every thousand years, potentially that's where Jesus came from. So, do you? Do you what what so, so the here's what we're going to going to discuss here because I I've, I spoke to Dean with this about this tonight is is <laughs> is, is 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 aliens when you say alien what do you mean is is so do you think it's alien or do you think it's something to do with what we what what we've been preaching our whole fucking goddamn lies you mean it in the bible well i think that maybe so i don't i don't this is, this is when a, you this take is, the words see, i don't think this when you take I don't the words no no, no I you am, might do when you listen to what i'm no, saying no but i'm i am eight because you, I, I am no, eight. no 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 but, but listen you believe you cannot possibly believe in a bible and believe in this god yet you can believe in other people who live on other planets and come and visit us because maybe they potentially do the same thing just maybe so do, you, so do you think aliens and religion belong in the same? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, really? But my priest would hate me to say that. So when I, um, I, I had to have a long talk with my priest before I got married. And he said, you know, I want to talk to you a little bit about your religious beliefs. And he was a, a, an Irish fella, an old man, maybe in his 70s. And he didn't like what I had to say. Because I said to him, I said, well, I've got one problem and that is dinosaurs. So we know that we found the, you know, the, the, the bones and the fossils of dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Do you believe in dinosaurs? Yeah, There's a lot of channels that are saying now that dinosaurs aren't real. But I tell you this, what he said. Now this is a 70 year old Irish priest in England. And he said, well now Dean, I'll tell you this now. I t- I'll tell you this now. Sure, if I was a millionaire now, and you asked me for a hundred pounds, sure I'd give it to you, because a hundred pounds to a millionaire is nothing. Sure, if I was a pauper, a hundred pounds would be a lot of money. And I couldn't give that to you now if you needed to. But to God, when he made that world in six days and he rested on the seventh day, to him, one day could have been 10,000 years, 
Could have been 10 million years. Sure, to him, he's a millionaire. Sure, one day to him, maybe 10 million years. And that may have been when the dinosaurs were built by him. And sure, he never, he never thought to mention it in the Bible because, sure, to him, it was just one day. And I thought that was a really good explanation. I think it is good. Uh, well, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. It was his way of getting out of my awkward question. But, you know... Okay. He had an answer. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I will go back to a, a big question that's been asked in the community right now is we've got SpaceX and mm. they're all saying that these rockets going into space are, are fake. Well, I mean, you've got to think of the reasoning behind things. So everybody, when they do something, have a reason and a gain to do it. So when we talk about the space race in the, in this, in the 50s and 60s, it was two nations competing against each other. And we don't believe what they said. So some people don't believe that the moon landing was real. Some people don't believe what that... What about you? Uh, I've seen evidence say it wasn't, but... Um, and that's enough for me to say well, there's relig- a doubt. You're religious, so... What's that got to do with the fucking I don't moon know, landing? Because I'm asking you, do you believe it was real or not? Well, I, I would hope it was real. And I think we have definitely been to the moon. I know we have been to the moon. But the first time, maybe we didn't. So and that's... That, we say that we, is remember, a different... That is the Americans. That. So we know that America and Russia do not have the same integrity as the British people. I think the British, if they wanted to do something, would be honest and say they did or didn't do it. Like when we failed that Mars rover that time. We just failed it. We were just honest and said it was shit and it never got there. It was wank. Yeah. But wank. I've got a great idea. I, I think that potentially that the nations would just do something to make themselves feel better and look good about themselves. Now, would SpaceX do that? Yes. Of course they would because they have investors and they have stakeholders. So when you take a business that has shareholders, stakeholders and investors and they fail, then you cannot fail. And so you're better to lie about what you did and, and get the money for it. Because when money's involved, rather than a whole country getting together and doing something, then you maybe you just can't trust the results. It the looks thing real, is that doesn't I, it? It looks thing, real. Dean's like, like one of my best mates and Dean is religious and I, I see so many religious channels right now. And I, I will. I am doing a couple of interviews, and they will be coming up with other uh, with other channels uh, where they 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 talk about the alien. What, what, what's what's the crowd saying? What the crowd saying? Here we go. Do you have a Bitcoin? Hey hey hey! Do I have a Bitcoin? Oh, fuck and Giorgio Bitcoin. says, "I like your friend." Yeah. Um, no, do you have a Bitcoin? We should get you should get Bitcoin really. Hey, hey, hey! It's a great way of like, well, fuck that. taking investment. Fuck the Bitcoin. What's up, 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 Bitcoin! But is Bitcoin a great, we can move on to Bitcoin if you like. Bitcoin! No, no, okay. We'll stick to the topic. We won't talk about Bitcoin, can't be asked. Well, we'll talk about that then. <laughs> we'll talk about yeah, religion and that. So, um, yeah, so I believe there is. And, I, and, and we know because when I go to church, when I went to church, because I live, I've got, uh, like, I, I don't live in England. Bitcoin. I, live, I, live, I live in England and I, I, I spend a lot of time in Ireland as well, which is a very Catholic country. And when we were celebrating... Well, I don't say sorry, Panjo. I get it. My mates all do Bitcoin and I don't understand it. They, they have invested shitloads in Bitcoin and they're telling me to invest in it. And too I'm late, like, man. Too late. I but did do it and now it's like too, probably too late, but... I'm like, if it's too late, it's too late. But I'm like, I don't understand it. Van Jojo, I don't understand it at I'm all. I'm going to move you back to religion for a second now. So when yeah, I... Back when, on topic. When I was in Christmas uh, uh, in Ireland, the, the priest... I love you, Van Jojo. You are, you are, you are, you are a star. <laughs> she, she, always, she always comments on every one of my videos. Well, it's good to have people And like she that, likes it. Helps you keep it going. And I like it. So, when I was in over there on Christmas... Um, the, the priest was very clear when he did the Christmas Mass and he talked about the, Jesus was born in the stable and the, the star came over. He was very clear to mention that that probably didn't happen in December. It probably happened more around September time. Now we know that because of the way the stars were aligned and we know it because of the fact that the sheep were out there and they, you know, they wouldn't really be out there in December. So... If that's What's not true, with because if that's not true, and that's written by a man who made him made things up, so they made him up to mix to, to fit to the pagan schedule. So the pagan winter schedule always went on the twenty fifth of December. Way over, way over my head. This. Well, because the fifth of Dece- the twenty fifth of December was a pagan winter solstice sort of ritual. 
So the Catholic Church was written by man and they decided to um, fix their rituals at the same time as the pagans. So they went to a pagan country, they could easily input Catholic, uh, push Catholicism inside that country okay. and, uh, and it was easy. So if that is one thing that they changed to make it fit, then they could have changed a lot of other things to make it fit. Wouldn't the sheep be warm in Israel? Israel? Uh, you know what? Probably you're right, but I, I, I have to go. I'll have to look at that. I don't know. Uh, that was Craig. I'll have to have a little think. But I, I, it, it, I have good authority. I have good authority that Christmas, when Jesus Christ was born, wasn't the 25th of December at all. That was not. That was just made up to fit with the schedule. If that is the case, then what else is mixed? Into Do you think Dino should have his own YouTube channel? That's what I'm asking. No, <laughs> I, think you should. I don't have the time. I'm busy, man. It is a busy moment. Um, the, the, big, the biggest thing that, that I'm seeing on YouTube at the minute, especially with uh, religion, is a lot of people are starting... So I used to do, do as you all know, uh, debunks on Security Team 10. He's hit over 1 million subscribers. And he has changed the way he works now. And I have to say, I'm looking at some of his, some of his stuff now, and guys, I'll, I'll, re I'll reverse some of the stuff I've said about him, saying that his stuff was shit. His stuff that he's putting out now is actually normal news, and it's and it's all right. It, don't unsubscribe. When I'm saying that, his his stuff that I'm, that I'm seeing now is he, sticking with the news. Which is good, and he's not putting out the, the fake shit. However, somebody's put out, and I don't know if you've seen the video of the, uh, have you seen the seagulls? In, um, where's the fucking, guys, somebody put in the chat, where's the fucking seagulls? I can't remember where they are. The seagulls in that fucking, that place in America. The seagulls. What are they doing, like? Basically, there's another channel and it's called uh, Richie from Boston is saying that this these seagulls that right secure teams debunked some seagulls and said it's been said that seagulls you don't know actual fucking seagulls the birds right I nearly did a debunk on this and I, and I put it out I was going to do it to, that it was seagulls are you hey. on about seagulls? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, okay. okay. I thought that maybe that was a term so I wasn't familiar the, with. So something, I'll show you the video. Uh, right. What are the seagulls doing that's interesting? If I go back to Dean's tonight, I'm going to show him the video, and then yeah. we'll come back We'll on. go back to mine. But something's been put out on the internet that's massive at the minute, and it's in Milwaukee. Is it Milwaukee? Milwaukee, somebody said Milwaukee there, yeah. Yeah, Milwaukee, yeah. Mil it's in that one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Banjo. Yeah. yeah. What have they done? Have they, have they been acting strange? No, I thought I, I debunked it. And I thought I, I was going. I was going to do a video on it, guys. You know, you know me. I'll wait about a few weeks before I do a debunk, and I've had it lined up for seagulls. Because I thought it was see, I, I would say yes, seagulls. But a man like Dean, I would like <laughs> speaks to about this. I need to show him this video. He's okay, not seeing the now video. I'll, I'll, there, you show me the video and I'll, and I'll make a. I can't show you because. I, right, if you get your phone out now. <sighs> well, he's been beeping loads. It, it, to, to me, it is seagulls. Is it worth doing? But the, like there is big channels. That the, there is big channels saying that it's, this is the whole. Uh, the, have you heard the Blue Bean? Uh, Project Blue Book. Blue Book, yeah. Blue Bean, what Right, what fucking, do I type in? Um, seagulls. <laughs> uh, what's he say? My friends, my friend lives in, what? They, they, all right, my friend lives there and saw something very strange in the sky at the same time, that same night, it was captured on film in that vid. That's from Sikaratruta. Sikaratruta. So what Guys, do I put in? Seagulls, say? what do you call it? Ski, security. Security Team 10. Did Would that find it? If you, well, I can see Skier scheme, scheme ten, and they did something he's having, about. He's, he's, having a, he's having a double. He's having a double. Right. So what is it? It's it's one of his uh, latest, I think. Anyway, all right. You know, I have always. I've never seen anything I, like I this. I used to be. When I first, when I first, ooh, what's it's that? Like dead seagulls. What started me on YouTube was Skier scheme ten. Believe it or not. I love this guy. I absolutely love Tyler. And then I thought this guy's talking shit a lot of the time. 
not the dead seagulls. Is it this guy? Yeah, that's the guy. Is that the video? That's, that's the fucking, that's the guy. And I thought this hey guy... Hey told this, yeah. hey guys. No, no, no. Like, I have it might to be great, but he, no, could, he no, could do that. I have to say something about... I have to say something positive. I'll say something positive about Tyler right now. He's, he, he has... He, he is debunking now, which is great. Because I think it's great for the community. But this this seagulls thing has been picked up by a few religious channels saying that this is this is the final card. I don't know what that means, the final oh, card. Oh, you're on about like the revelation, the end of days. Right. Because I've got some great right. shit on that. Let's go back to the chat. What was it, what was it saying? Okay, my friend lives there. Uh, she says it was a little different though. I think the se seagulls is a debunk cover-up. Good point, seek the truth. Not the dead seagulls. And then... Get that up again. Oh. No, no, just tap, tap the screen. No, just tap, no, 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 you just need to tap the screen. Okay. Uh, I would imagine that news crews look at that scene every day so they would have seen seagulls before because something really did happen. That's what I'm true. Now, he's not been quite clear to tell me exactly what happened to the seagulls. So I I've not showed him this. I've not showed him. I need to show him. If, if you talk about the end tonight card, and are you on about the end of days? No. Type in Milwaukee. Okay. Type in Milwaukee um, UFO. Just type in that. Okay, okay. You'll see, right? I, per I personally, I personally thought this was seagulls, and and, it, and, it, and it, it has been debunked um, by Secure Team Ten. Hands down, to him, he's done it, and uh, he says it's seagulls. Right, I put Milwaukee, and then what? UFO. Okay. Oh, because it was a UFO. They thought was. Is the four days oh, ago what really happened? <laughs> Okay, what really happened above Milwaukee? So, I'm watching a video now from this. Here we go. Show your phone. Fuck off. Okay, what are we seeing? I saw a UFO the other day. Yeah, this is the thing that he's, he's on about. Oh, there's too many, isn't there, really? Right, he's, he, but he debunked it to seagulls. He says he's, he's seagulls. Yeah, maybe so. There's a big. Is Milwaukee there's, on? There's these? a big chance. There's a big channel out there. It's called Richie from Boston, and he. he, it's kind he, of a, he I think that looks like a slow. He is a is a really is a religious channel. I probably will do a video about him tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, and maybe maybe security ten on this. And no dead sea scrolls. No guy Harrison. We're on about dead seagulls, not dead sea scrolls. But that was that Have be you another. seen all those fucking dead lobsters and fucking things? Ah, that well, lobsters. that's just down to the weather. We've had uh, weather yeah, in the car. It's it. nothing. It's nothing. We've had shit weather. These, these, these creatures. Although, well, joking about the weather, have you noticed if you live in England and you, you, you felt or, or Ireland, you felt the snow? It didn't feel right. Now I'm not one for conspiracy yeah, like theories. Yeah, powder. Okay, it was fucking I'm like powder. powder. But, but it was fucking but like but powder. I've got a friend. I've got a friend. I've got a friend who is uh, into conspiracies online, and do you know what? I follow him because it's fun and interesting. But he, he do you think another Dean video. should take over my channel? I think he should. He's more talkative than I am. He, he showed a video, and he, what he did, what this guy from Ireland did, is he took the snow and he compacted it up and brought it into the house, and he, he tried to he, he lit it with a lighter, and the whole thing didn't melt. It just kind of burned, and he felt it was just wrong. What he burnt fucking snow? Yeah, he just went black. Has anybody else burnt snow? It's true. Come on, come on. No. True story. So, he burnt the snow and it didn't melt. And he did loads of cool things with it. But when I went to build a snowman, it was full of snow. But I could only build a tiny snowman because it was so full of air, it was almost as if it was some sort of... Um, the snow was fucked up. It the was... Snow yeah, was right, we was, had really I can't fucking see, I'm scared snow. to say what I think. It but, was but fucking weird. It was manufactured snow. Yes! I it said this to my son, and my son, is two, my son is two years old, and he did not seen understand. Before, really. You, you want to say to him, I'm like, telling my son's uh, five, uh, and I was like, well, no, I just don't this think is not, this is right. This is not the snow that we just, grew up with. No, it's This is not real snow. snow. And so, then then what do you say? So, why would somebody put snow out there? Okay, this is my idea, fake moon, yeah, maybe so. Fake sun, fake snow, fake moon, whatever. But, fake news, yeah. Why would they do that? Okay, now if you follow anything in the news at the minute, you'll see that there's. Can uh, I say? Can I get a hundred of thousand subscribers from this and three thousand five hundred and sixty-five and thirty-three and sixty-eight subscribers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, why on earth 
is there this this, this I want to lick you, your if you, face if you watch the, your face. the media right let's talk about the Olympics so the Olympics Russia now have a massive doping scandal they cannot fly their flag at the, the Winter Olympics it's gone now but they couldn't do that um, Russia are the ones who caused Brexit Russia are the people who caused Donald Trump to get elected into the, the, the US um, um, presidential... Do you know this? Is, this? is this one of your other... No, it's area? not. Is because not, we know it's not me. This is him. And the key is, Russia caused the snow. Because it's called the beast from the east. So it came from the east. Because it's... The, and there was a... The, whoever created it thought, Let's, I know what we'll do. We can blame Russia for Brexit. We can blame Russia for Donald Trump getting in. It's nothing to do with the fact that... <laughs> It's nothing to do with the fact that politically there's a whole load of people who are the majority who didn't think that anyone supported their beliefs or systems. And we can blame Russia for the snow. All we need to do is create a snowstorm. Tim, Tim, right, honestly, Tyler right now, I'll be honest with you, I think he's changed his channel completely. I I did I did loads of security and turn debunks and I, I, I've packed it in now because I do think he's making a change. And somebody that's making a change for me, third phase, when they said they were going to make a change, they've not made no changes at all. Tyler has made changes. I know why he's made the changes, but I'll talk about that some other time. I know why he's made the changes that he's done, and it, but it's for the better. I think we'll wrap it up in a minute because I need a drink. Yeah, I need a drink, need a drink. I've drink. got a dry mouth. So, I think, remember the um, third South phase. Park? Remember the South Laugh Park? Laugh Out Loud, yes. The South completely. Park, remember the South Park movie? Yeah. The idea was you blame Canada. Why would you blame Canada? Blame Canada. Well, my, it's not. My now wife's it's from Canada. Blame it, Russia. Blame Russia. I'm from the UK, my wife's from so Canada. The Russia's caused the snow. I don't know. It's this crazy idea. But the idea is that people want us to hate a nation. In fact, if you look on the, the on TV recently, the English TV, the uh, head of our military was saying that, and he said, he went on national TV and said, we do not have enough money um, in the military to fight Russia. That was his point. And so everyone went, right, yeah, that, that's a good point. We don't. Third so maybe, maybe the they need some more money. But then uh, you have to think, why would he even fucking say that? What a strange thing to say. Would you like to interview Third Phase and then say yes? <laughs> I love interviewing people. Third Phase and Moon, if you would like to come live and interview me I'm and really Dino. Dean's religious. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'd say semi. He, I'm not he has crazy. no idea. I don't push my religion with other people. So. We will interview you, uh, but I will ask you every question you don't like to answer. Oh, no, the, you don't the want to other that. channels don't like to ask you. But we'll give you the opportunity you to talk with. about things you really want to say as well, wouldn't you? Yeah. But they watch. They watch. Uh, I'm signing off. Yes, I've got loads of messages and I need to get a drink before well, I Yeah, we're off for a drink. Anyway, guys, we may come back on live. Um, I fucking love Star Trek, Craigie B. I love it. It's my favourite. Third face of men have already said Star Trek's wank. They told me that. I think there was a UFO proof of it and I was talking about Star Trek and they said, it's a shit. Deep Space Nine, they said, was a bag of shit. Bollocks. I love Star Trek. Anyway, I love Star Trek. No, I don't, actually. I don't watch anything. I don't watch anything like that. Anyway, good night from me. And uh, hopefully I'll come it's over another time. From, it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. Good night, God bless. bless Mind the goes... Mind the what? Yeah. You yeah. Just, I just read right. me. We're, off, we're off back in the bar. Yeah. No, we'll go to the hopefully, we dark. might be back on later on. I don't know. I can't promise... Because I'd say, I am slightly wank. Yeah, we don't have tonight. work tomorrow, neither is. So. No, I don't have work either. But I'm going to make a video tomorrow. I am going to dedicate to make more videos. Guys, I love you. You are brilliant. And well, like, that's subscribe. Good night. Fucking ambulance. This is Lee's motherfucker. Good night. God bless. I don't know how to end this chat. How the fuck do I end this chat? God, I fucking love my subscribers. It's so fucking cool as fuck. How do you how do you end how do you end it, Dean? Well, um, let's see. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I 
Yeah, okay. I ain't sure you want to stop screaming.